folks, so one of the projects we're going to look at doing now is again another skill builder and it is producing a toy dice. So let's again start a new file as always, so click on new tab at the top, metric folder, standard millimeter.ipt, create our file. And we're going to start off by doing a basic cube. So we're going to start a 2D sketch on our XY plane in this case. We're going to use this yellow dot in the middle as a central axis. So we're going to choose a rectangle. Click in the very middle and pull up to the top right corner. Click again. And then we'll apply some dimensions of to make our object maybe a 50mm by 50mm by 50mm cube. So 50. Zoom all. By 50. Finish sketch and extrude by 50. So we've got a perfect cube. Next part of this is then starting to put on our die dots, shall we say. So we're going to need to take a time to practice working between our faces. So start a sketch, start off with number one. Now what we're going to actually learn to do in this video first of all is two things. We're going to learn to dimension it to place our die dots and then we're going to actually learn to use sketch constraints to try and help us a wee bit. So in this case I am going to just use a circle. I'm going to draw it in the middle. My circle is going to be 10 millimetres in diameter. Now I want to make sure I'm dimensioning from the centre point of my circle to my edge and make sure it's the exact same as from there to my centre. So we know that if our circle, or sorry, our cube is 50 by 50, the centre should be 25 millimetres in. Some basic maths. So dimension, centre point circle, edge of my cube. 25, press enter, center point circle, top of my cube, 25, enter, and it's as simple as that. So our circle is dimensioned and constrained to the bang on the middle of it. Now I'm going to finish this sketch here, I'm going to start working on my other sides. So I get two options, I can either start doing all my sketches at the one time, and then extrude, subtract them to cut them, or I could do one at a time, extrude it, subtract it, do another one, extrude it, subtract, and so on and so forth, until I'm happy. So I'm going to keep working my way through these till I've got all my sides done. And you'll see in the next video, I'll continue this where all my sketches have then been finished and we're ready to subtract this.